I've had my eye on the Spider-Man Venom Planet of the Symbiotes. Symbiotes, I'm not really sure how you say that. Uh, figures for quite some time. They're obviously really cool. Uh, this one is Scream. She includes her uh, symbiotic wall crawler as well as living tendril hair. Um, these were made by Toy Biz, obviously, in 1996. And you see there's some really cool uh, guys there. There's Hybrid, Riot, Venom, Scream, and Lasher. Uh, Scream being probably the least cool one out of all of these. Uh, she's the first human female symbiote. Uh, Lasher would love to get Riot. And any of them really, I mean, the Venom's pretty cool. Um, these go for a little bit more, though. You know, we, we've talked about before how, um, Toy Biz Spider-Man, there's like a bajillion different ones, and some are cool, some are lame. This is one that's actually really cool and really desirable. In addition to those, um, the Arachnophobia ones, I don't have any of those. I'd like to get my hands on some of those. So, Toy Biz did a pretty bang-up job on these, and I was happy to find this at Comic Book World in Florence. They had a... What do you call it? Black Friday. Black Friday sale. Um, this was a little bit out of my price range. It was $15, but I w was glad to get 25% off. Um, then that was more more in my price range. Now, it's kind of a little bit hard to tell in the video, but that's faded. You see how, how vibrant that yellow is versus that. Um, unfortunately, the figure is faded too. We'll, we'll see that better when I open this up here in a second. Um, so that's why this one was cheaper than some of the other ones. Obviously, it looks like somebody had it sitting in the, the sun or maybe a storefront where the sun kind of shone on it. But, um, shone or shined? I don't know. But, um, we're going to open this bad chick up. Pretty stoked on this one. Um, these are cool. These are weird. I mean, look at that card art, first of all, right there. I mean, what 90s kid wouldn't like that? And you can see, again, the the fading with the teeth and the or the red on the tongue and stuff so uh, it's kind of unfortunate but some of these uh, some of these guys i'll see those selling for like 30 dollars or more in the card so way out of my price range i can get a whole lot of water wolf figures which kind of a sneak preview i have some right here next to me um all right so how are we going to dissect this first let's uh let's get this little launcher out we have these sort of pitchforks and they get let's see how we can see that so that's see that's kind of pink kind of red let me get another one out there and see how faded this one is and it's just the again the side that's facing the sun it's kind of weird also i don't know how well you can see it in the video but where her tendrils are kind of covering it blocked the sunlight but i don't know i guess this this guy here that little uh, plastic box didn't not for much UV protection. All right, so we got these here. Um, these are the symbiotic pitchforks. This actually every oh damn it, look at that, it broke. Well, that's what happens when you have a toy that's this old. Okay. Oh, I guess it's just okay. It's a pullback. I thought. I guess it still kind of works, but it's a little busted. Okay. So that, they're all supposed to kind of fit in there, but they're not fitting too well. Oh, well. I didn't buy this figure for its crappy launcher thing. All right, so here she is. She's got some... Well, she has one. She is wearing one kind of wedge and then one flat. That's kind of weird. Um, she's not too faded. It's, it's easier to tell in person. The um, Kind of the red on the front of her is more pink. But she has some uh, wicked hair here. It says, you push and pull, scream symbiotic hair tentacles above her shoulders for a spearing attack. So um, so these guys out of her waist just kind of chill. These ones, I'm a little worried about breaking them because of how old this is. And it has sun damage, so it's going to be a little bit more fragile. Fragile, eh? Okay, here we go. So yeah, you can kind of pull these guys in and out. They're not lubed up very well. But you get the idea. The idea is that it's like, blah, 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 blah. she's going to do some crazy stuff there. This is supposedly supposed to go on her arm. I don't know how well that's going to work out. 
I would love to get my hands on this entire line of figures. Um, again, the Cardi ones are pretty expensive. So this this is cool here. Um, sometimes I'll see these kind of Venom heads. So here's a little gooky, gunky, sticky guy. And he is the, um, what do they call it? Symbiotic wall crawler. So the idea with this is you throw him against the wall and he kind of climbs down. Now I could sit here until it, it does it. But you get the idea, you know, the idea is that it goes like, you've seen things like that. Um, so pretty cool. A lot. Of, there we go. A lot of playability. This thing's kind of, kind of wonky. Um, I don't want him to get on the floor because... I have a dog, and I have a dog hair all over this. Um, yeah, so that guy, little gunky, sticky guy goes in there. So kind of a cool thing. I feel like monochromatic deals. You know, cool card art. Cool figures. There's five of them, but yeah, they get they get a little pricey. So um, I would love to have have more. But um, it says here that she is very powerful. Um, she has living tendril hair, which we're well aware of. She can use her hair as a dangerous weapon, um, battle multiple opponents at once. She's mentally deranged when she was originally bonded to her other. Scream believes that all other symbiotes are evil and seeks to destroy them to save the world. So so there she is. Uh, Venom, planet of the symbiote, symbiotes, symbiotes, I don't know how you say that. Scream from Toy Biz, 1996. And... Um, along with her living tendril hair and the symbiotic wall crawler. So, thank you for watching. With great power comes great responsibility. And I appreciate Toy Biz for making some some really cool Venom figures. Because as a kid of the 90s, I was born in 83, so, you know, um, who didn't love Venom? <laughs>